and Mr. Maloney, and I'm here to talk to you about our PBS program. As we've done so far during the 2020 and 2020 school year, we have really rocked it. So far, we have shown respect, ownership, courage, kindness, and we've definitely practiced safety. As we move forward and get back into a normal routine, hopefully in a non-virtual world, you're going to have the opportunity to be successful in the PBIS program. Our teachers are going to support you, and you're going to support each other. Thank you, and have a great day. Um, but nevertheless, there are, you know, some exercises that you can do. There's breathing exercises that you can do to help ground yourself. Okay, you can breathe in for three, hold for two, and then breathe out, and then just do that a couple times, and it's going to help your heart rate come down. On the other thing is um, some exercises to ground yourself. You can, um, you know, sit there and relax, and maybe do some breathing, but then. Um, and you know, think to yourself, what are five things that I can see? And what are four things that you can feel? Um, and three things that you can hear. Two things that you smell. And one thing that you can taste. Good morning, everyone. This is that. Dr. Cole coming with a message about your routine. It is so important for you to get up and establish a routine. I like to say, get up in the morning, brush your teeth, wash your face, comb your hair, go out of your room, actually leave your bedroom, go to a place where you can focus and embark upon the education that you're going to get today. Have a great one. See you later. Here's some suggestions where you can rock. Take ownership and keep yourself healthy. Make sure you eat your meals every day and have a glass of water handy and nearby so you'll stay hydrated. Take frequent breaks. It's hard sitting in front of a computer screen. So get up and walk around. Move your shoulders and your neck. Do some jumping jacks. Put some music on and dance. Even getting up a little bit every once in a while will help. And if you don't like sitting while working, try standing up and working that way for a while. Make sure you have a comfortable place to work. Have a comfortable chair and decorate the space with things that make you happy. Limit your screen time before bed and make sure you get enough sleep every day. I myself am struggling oh, yeah. on some days, but I wanted to offer a few tips or at least one particular tip on how it can be helpful to stay respectful, have ownership, have courage and kindness. And one of the tips that I do every day and use every day is my calendar. I am here in my office and I'm going to pan down I write my calendar every day to keep myself organized and I think that that is one of the best things that you can do to stay on track with all of your assignments. Hey guys, Miss Perry, Mrs. Renshaw here. We are close to halfway through the school year and we are so proud of how hard you have been working this year. You know, it's hard virtual learning can seem overwhelming and exhausting at times. We are all feeling this right now. Teachers, staff, students, parents. Um, here are some tips to help you to continue with a successful school year. All right, guys, so we came up with a couple of the tips that we follow on a daily basis and thought it would help you guys out as well. One of the things, and definitely the kids who know me know that I say this all the time, I still am a pencil and pen girl, and I write down everything. So what I need to get done in the day, make a checklist, write it down. If nothing feels better than to cross something off your checklist and it'll just make you feel like you're in control of everything. Um, you know what to do and what's coming up. So checklist. Our result. A short-term goal is a goal that is achieved or desired over a short period of time. An example of a short-term goal would be to get an A on a test. We know that in order to get A's on an exam, or a satisfactory grade on an exam. One should study, one should also pay attention in class. And if you do those two things, you should be able to possibly achieve that result. Crazy, I know we're spending a lot of time in front of the computers, but get outside. It's cold and I know sometimes it's hard, but it's important. Our brains depend on oxygen to think critically um, and they're really super sensitive to decreases in oxygen. So get outside, get some oxygen. Being outside also um, allows your body to create serotonin and endorphins. 
and that makes us feel better. Um, it helps us learn, it helps us feel better. It's important. Get out, play, have some fun in the snow, have a great time, get some oxygen. Bye guys.